Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today is Sunday, and I have a few minutes, so I'm going to try to do, I washed my hair last night, I don't have any extensions in, and I was going to, one, <laughs> show you how it looks without the extensions, and two, show you how easy it is to put these in, and just how it changes So this is it. a piece that you get in the Irresistible Me extensions that makes it, I think, superior to any that I've ever gotten and it's this big weft and this is one of my old ones and it still has been toned and a few little low lights put in it but you can see I mean it is so thick it's um and then it has the three clips well I've heard other people say this and I felt like the same thing I felt like it needed another clip so I did notice that this time this is my new weft and you can see that she's put the low and the lights reason in it. you see like the little marks like that is because she hangs them on a clipboard and then she pulls out the pieces and matches them to my hair and I don't know if you guys can see the quality of this hair and I'm gonna link the irresistible me video below that will explain to you the difference in the hair but this is the Royal Remy and it is just I mean just fabulous it's the best extensions I've ever ever had and um, I like I told you guys had to order three this is my third set before I got the right color it's just hard to tell online but they were so good I sent them all back free returns free shipping free returns and um, I finally ended up getting just the color royal platinum that I had gotten before because this is a key point when you're picking them especially if you're gonna get them colored, which I recommend, if you unless you don't get your hair colored at all, but when I get them, the first thing I do, usually the first day that I get them, is I take them directly to Kate at Ulta, is where I go, and she is just phenomenal with color. I mean, just her understanding and the way she explains to me things is just, really good so go to someone that you know really enjoys doing color and knows a lot about it and she colors them in the exact same color as my hair so that way it matches even more and she said that it is very much important that you get lighter than you need so that you can darken them to match your hair because it is almost impossible to lift them like me. she is obsessed with mine and brooks if we put our extensions down she is on it what are you doing? Huh? What you doing, sweet girl? Hmm? You gonna be in my video? Yes. <laughs> so anyway, um, so I ended up getting the same, even though my hair is much darker, and I have pictures that I will put at the end of the original color of these, and then after you tone them, I'll put some different pictures so you can see the different ways that I've colored them, but you can do I it just, just really like to stress hair. that. Now, if you're going to err, err on the lighter side, and then your um, colorist can do them darker. Now, this is something I was really excited about. This great big weft that they send. I mean, you can see how thick that is. Now, they are putting four clips on it, which makes it just wonderful because it doesn't used to. It would have a little bit, just the way your head is shaped when it goes around, it would, you know, have a little bit of a sagging right there. So, for my hair, um, let's see, it's this long now. It's as long as my original extensions are in the back. Now, in the front, I still have, you can see, this is my healthy hair. This is the hair that has grown since I used to put straight bleach on it back a year and a half or two years ago when I had just bleach blonde platinum hair. Well, that is, I call it all of my healthy hair that has grown back. And this is the not so healthy hair, but I'm hanging on to it <laughs> and trimming it just, you know, as we go. So um, the first extensions that I have, you know, she had taken off or we took off the clips and she is just an expert at extensions and beating them in and everything. So that I'm not going to go into because that's between you and your hairstylist if they want to do something else with them. But... The clip-ins are wonderful because last night when I washed and dried my hair, it took like half the time. And it's so neat because now what I did is I just hung these up on my towel bar with one of these clips. I just kind of do it like this. And then I went through it with my two-inch curling iron just to get that little bend 
so that they'll match my hair. So they're, it's like, you know, half your hair is already fixed. So what you do is, and if you're like me, you're, I had anxiety that I was not gonna remember. Okay, let me back up. So what I first did, I took them to her, she colored them. Then I went the next day, which was Friday, and I'll put some pictures at the end. Um, and what she does is we clip them in my hair and then she cuts them in the style that I want so that they're, you know, the sides are tapered down, the back is like I want it. She even, um, you know, takes the back and does the long layers and all that stuff. And the thing is, you have to remember what piece goes where. And when I first got it done, I was so anxious that I could not get it done. So what I did is I took a big... I took one of these it. from my one of my little storage bins over here that I'm going to hopefully pack away some of Will's toys. And um, I just, it just laid them out. I'll show you a picture at the end exactly as I took them out. Like when I took one out, I laid it and I just remembered how I laid it. And I did that for probably a week or so until I could really tell. Then it gets to the point where you can tell, you can put them in, you know, hey, I was no looking time for, what you need are some clips like these, but not like these. And Brooke is looking for them and seeing if she's gonna bring them back to me, but they sell them at Sally's and at Ulta, probably anywhere, but they're like this, but they're, they have like some teeth on them and they're just chunkier. If I can, I'll put a picture at the end of this video. Maybe I'll get some before I edit this. And what you do is section off your hair. And what I usually do is um, take, you want to put one, she has cut one small one because you don't have very much room at the bottom of your neck. Let me see if I can figure out which one goes there. Okay, I think this is it. It's one with two clips. And I like, see how she's done the roots of it a little bit darker? That way it kind of matches my hair. So this is one that she's done for the very bottom of my hair. And so what I do is I just section or just pull all my hair up. And I haven't even brushed it this morning. This is just left over from last night because I don't want it to be, I don't know, I'd rather it look this way. And then I clip up my hair like that. And I've got a mirror here I might use because I've been using the camera. Okay. Um, and so you take your clip. Let's see if I can show you. And they're, they'll be open from where you took them out the last time. And you just, now I don't need to tease my hair to keep them in because my hair has texture anyway. It's, um, it's just, I have naturally wavy hair, so it has plenty of texture. But if you have really fine, slick hair, you might need to either spray like some quick tease or tease your hair right there. But I have no problems keeping these in at all. So I just put it right there. Um, just put the teeth in, snap it, put the teeth in, snap it, and that's it. And then I'll go right to the next section, and I'll go, I like to keep mine low, as, as I can because what I'm trying to do the whole time is keeping them from showing when my hair splits, especially because I like my hair to be kind of sectiony. So, um, and another point is, if you are using extensions, that are the same length as your natural hair, you have to, you don't have to put hardly any in there to get some fullness. And that's really what I've been doing and I love it because it just makes your hair so much easier to style, makes it look better and it makes it, I don't know, it's like it stays cleaner longer or you can go longer without styling it and fixing it. But like today, these are a little bit longer. I figure I would go for it. These are a little bit so longer I'm gonna have hair. to put more in. Okay, this is the big, main section. This hair is, it's like, I think four wefts worth in one. So what I'm going to do is put it just as close as I can to that one I've already done. So um, I'm going to go right, but, but you still need enough hair to um, hold it. So I'm going to section it out. And everybody has different ways of doing this. Um, and I wish I had those other clips because they're a lot easier because this one's really too big, but it'll hold good enough. And so what I'm going to do with this one is put it right above that one. And I'm going to turn around and see if I can do this with my back to you. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just find a spot, clip it in there. Find a spot over here, clip it in there. It. 
clip it like that. Okay, and so now you can see, um, let me show you my, so my natural hair is about this long, and so that is probably about two inches longer than my hair. And you could even just put in, you know, if you just wanted to put in those pieces and not put any in the front, you could. But my favorite pieces are the side pieces because my hair has always been thinner and curlier and just a different texture and stuff in the side. So um, I have enjoyed having the now side I'm pieces. Now I'm going to clip in the side piece and you can see that she has cut it and colored it to match my hair. And it's just a little thin. You can, you can put in as many as you want. It comes with so much hair. I have like so much hair left over. It's, but we didn't cut it because I don't know. I like to have it. I like to have options of things I can do with it. So, um, so this one you can just put wherever. I see. I like to bring it up close to where I need it to give me that fullness on the side. And then just clip it in like that. So easy. And so they are got that. And then I just take, and you don't, at first I think I used to stress over getting it just exactly right, getting my part exactly right, getting them exactly right on each side. It's not, you don't have to worry about that as much as you think. Um, and you don't have to get them, you know, you just put them in wherever you want them in. Okay, and this is another piece, and so you can see it's easy for me to tell because it's layered that way. So I'm going to put this in there. Put that in there like that. And if it's, when I do my hair, if I feel like it's showing, which I think that one might, then I know I need to lower it um, and put it. It is kind of important, try to if you can, to get your hair out of the way because it's bad when you get it just like you want it and a piece of your hair has gotten kind of hooked in it and then you have to undo it. So I'm going to try to do this. I'm going to try to do this even a little bit lower, I think. I've got all kinds of clips and stuff here. Okay. Okay, so then you take that first piece, about like that. It's always good to have one over your ear. It just gives you that extra thickness. Okay, I'm going to take this one out and that one out. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. And then what I usually do, let me show you, you the back. What I always do is get my mirror and um, let me see if I can do use this mirror. Um, I make sure that I can't see them. Like you can see that one, so I would move it. Okay, just clip that here. And clip that one just right above that last. They call them to brick layer them. It's when you just lay them right, you know, over top of each other like that. Okay, now let's see how that does. Okay. That looks much better, especially you girls with dark hair. You really have it made because you can't see it as much. But then what I do, and I wanted to tell you how much I love this hairspray. Whoever told me about this, thank you so much. It's the Chi Enviro 54 Natural Hold Hairspray. And they have these little sizes that are, um, I think they're regularly like $6.99 on sale for $3 at Ulta right now. It's like, a, I think, a Christmas special. So um, I'm just going to take it and just spray it like this. And you can, these extensions, you can wash, dry, do whatever, they're natural hair. But I, when they're clipping like this, that's the beauty of it, is I barely ever have to mess with them. Okay, I'm going to go put on my outfit of the day. So right for my back. outfit of the day today, I just have on my typical comfort zone, all black, um, the James Purse tank. This is my shorter, um, I think it's called Rivet or River. It's from Wilson's Leather. I got it, I think, last year or either last year or the year before at Wilson's Leather in Myrtle Beach. And then my pants are um, 
some ones I got off of eBay. They're the three dots pull-on pants. And what I like about them is they have like a little zipper at the bottom that I keep open. And then um, I have on my, <laughs> I promise I'm going to find a better way to do this. I have on my um, Boutique 9 shoes with the little rose gold accents. A lot of times when I wear black, I like to put something either nude or something different on the bottom. And then I was excited to show you my accessories. These are just um, the big CZs I got. I can't remember where I got these. I picked them up. I thought they were neat because they were just so big and funky. But last night, I finally got around to all the little accent necklaces that I got from Sheila Fajal. Her and I had talked on the phone about some different things that I liked. And um, I got several ones and I'm gonna get more. I know a lot of you liked the matchstick necklace and I didn't know if you guys would like that or not. And I, so I'd already sold the one extra that I had, but I'm gonna get more of those. And I wanna get more of these because I love this. And it is a, it's like the little, um, here, I'll take it off so you can see it, but it's a little skull necklace, which I like that because, like I said before, my kids are pri pirates, and um, so that's like part of their mascot, but this one is rose gold, and I love it, and I've got, um, got them in rose gold and gold, but I love the, I hope you can see it, it's got the um, CZ eyes, and then I love the way the mouth and the nose are open. So when it's on your skin, you can see through it. But if it's on like black, it looks black. You know, all that, all that goes. And then the chain is really, really um, sparkly. Just a beautiful chain. That's what's good about her jewelry is every little thing has, Jenny Bird's the same way and Dean Davidson. They all have good like little accents. You know, even their little name plates are nice and stuff. And these all have like the adjustable um, chain. Sorry, I'm trying not to get it caught in my hair. And so you can make them longer, shorter or longer to fit because, you know, I like to like it to be right there. But I just think that is the perfect little, I love the way it's kind of chunky. And there was several different styles. And then there's um, another one I really like. When she told me about this on the phone, I knew I was going to like it. It's a little pair of Ray-Bans with the black CZs. And I took a picture, look at the back of them, how you can see the back of the sunglasses and stuff. It's so cute. So anyway, that's the only accessory I have. We're going to eat lunch with another couple today and, of course, our family. And, um, oh, my nails. Okay, good. This is the new, this is not my, my private jet. This is my new private jet. And you can see, look how it's got the, when you turn your fingers, you can see, like, the blue and stuff in it. And... You guys explained to me that it was two different versions, so I'm excited to get this. Thank you, Anne Marie, and I'm going to send her our version or the version that I have, so that she can see the difference. And um, so I painted those last night. They're perfect. They're kind of a good soft dark color. So I hope you guys have a good day, and I will see you real soon. And I'm going to put. See, I even had an extra piece that she fixed me to go in my hair, but I just didn't feel like I needed it. Um, but that piece is made to go up here if I wanted more thickness, but I just, I put in the least amount I can and then just save the rest of them. So if you have any questions, please just ask me below and I will answer them. Love these. If I didn't, I promise you, I would not have mentioned them ever again. And, um, it's just really, I would rather have my extensions than most of my makeup. I mean, it just makes it so easy in the mornings and getting ready on the weekends. It's just fun. I just encourage you to try them. And oh, I forgot, I almost forgot to tell you that they're having that sale. I think I told you yesterday, but they're having a sale. I'll put my link down below to get a discount, and I believe you get 20% off for Black Friday. I'll put all the details down below. So I hope you guys have a good day, and I will see you real soon. Bye bye.